In an unsuspecting alleyway near the intersection of Monroe Street and Detroit Avenue, there's something that would tell you about a chunk of Toledo's history and walk with America's pastime. This is the original left field wall that was once part of one of Toledo's baseball fields and home to Toledo baseball for 46 years, Swain Field. Swain Field opened on July 3rd, 1909, home to the American Association Toledo Mudhens. The field was named after Toledo attorney Noah Swain Jr., the purchaser and at least of the land that the field was on, who was also a huge baseball fan. When it was originally built, it had a capacity of 11,800 and an upper deck that was unheard of in minor league baseball at the time. The first game was played on July 3, 1909 in a game between the Mudhens and Columbus, with Columbus winning 12-11 in 18 innings in front of 9,350 spectators. The original dimensions were around 380 feet left center, 420 to center field, and 327 in right field, with left field and center being shortened around 20 feet later on. In 1914, the Toledo Mudhens moved to Cleveland, and after a team that was not favored by the local population left, Swain Field was left empty until 1916 when Roger Bresnahan brought the Ironmen, an American Association team, to Toledo. The first home game for the Ironmen brought out 16,467 fans to Swain Field, which is still a record for attendance in Toledo baseball to this day. Swain Field also hosted its first night game on June 23, 1933, two years before the Major Leagues played a night game. It would also host two championship teams, the 1927 Hens and a 1953 team that won the American Association title. The 1953 team would draw out 343,614 fans to Swain Field, a single season record for a professional team in Toledo. Swain Field was also home to Negro League baseball games and teams, with the first Toledo-based team being the Toledo Tigers. The team played for just three months in 1923 before folding. The second team based in Toledo called the Crawfords the famed team from Pittsburgh in 1939, and a year later, the team would fold. In 1955, the Milwaukee Braves moved the Toledo Mudhens to Wichita, Kansas, which was the last time Swain Field would see a baseball team. With the upper deck condemned, no team, and a ballpark sitting on prime real estate, Swain Field was demolished in 1956. Toledo would not see another professional baseball team for 10 years, until 1965 when the Toledo Mudhens moved into Ned Skeldon Stadium at the Lucas County Fairgrounds. Now, all that is left of 46 years of Toledo baseball history is a wall in an unsuspecting alleyway near the intersections of Monroe Street and Detroit Avenue. I'm Tyler, and thanks for watching In Plain Sight.